Hi, my name is Justin Loria, and today I'm going to show you the basics of riding a mini ramp. A mini ramp is different from a vert ramp because the sides of a vert ramp slope up and eventually become vertical, having a 90 degree angle to the flat part at the bottom of the ramp, whereas the sides of a mini ramp slope less than that. Dropping in on a mini ramp can be a little scary, so you should spend some time learning some maneuvers down near the bottom of the ramp first so that you'll have an idea of how to keep your board under you when you try to roll down the entire thing. For all of these exercises, I recommend having your feet on the board like this, with your back foot on the tail and your front foot over top of your front wheels, both perpendicular to the board. The first thing I recommend learning is just riding part of the way up one side, then coming back down in your fakie stance. To accomplish this, you're going to have to focus on leaning a little bit towards your back foot, or else you're going to fall forward onto the coping. If you lean back too far though, the board is going to shoot out on you, so take it slow and try to get used to how you need to position your body weight in the transition. Once you roll up to your highest point, bend your knees a little bit and turn your head to face the other way so you can roll backwards down and out of the quarter pipe. A good rule of thumb is to always have your head facing the direction you want to go. If you're still a little unsure of your balance, you should practice this exact same maneuver on a flat ramp first before you take it to a quarter pipe. Once you get this move down, practice riding up the quarter pipe fakie and then back down in your regular stance. Like before, bend your knees at the highest point and turn your head to face forward so you can see where you're going. Okay, so the next maneuver is called a kick turn. You can do them backside or frontside. A backside kick turn is when you turn so that the backside of your body is facing the way you were traveling when you started the kick turn, which in this case would be up toward the top of the quarter pipe. A frontside kick turn would be turning the other way, but backside kick turns are easier, so I recommend learning them first. To do a backside kick turn, you're going to ride straight up the ramp, and just before you reach the highest point, turn your head to look down at the bottom of the ramp. Then rotate your shoulders, lift up your front wheels, and allow your feet and board to turn to align themselves with your shoulders. Once your board is rotated enough, set down your front wheels, bend your knees, and ride away. Before you try them on a mini ramp though, you should practice your kick turns on flat ground and on flat ramps. Once you're ready to take them to the mini ramp, you can start by riding toward one side of the half pipe at an extremely mellow angle with your back facing the side you're about to ride on. Go part of the way up the ramp and then lean on your toes so that you turn and go back down. Do this until you can turn your shoulders and lift your front wheels up just a little bit at the highest point. Then just gradually change the angle of your approach until you can do them riding straight up the ramp and back down. Frontside kick turns are more difficult because you're turning so that your head is facing away from the bottom of the ramp, making it hard to judge how far to turn and how to position your body weight. That means you'll have to turn your head as much as possible and force your shoulders to rotate past what feels comfortable so that your feet and board will turn enough to ride back down the ramp. You should practice frontside kick turns the same way as backside kick turns, starting out riding almost sideways on the ramp and gradually increasing your approach angle to straight up the quarter pipe. Now you're ready to learn how to pump. Pumping is a way for you to maintain and even increase your momentum while you're riding back and forth on a mini ramp without having to take your back foot off to push. You can watch this video for an in-depth explanation of how to pump and why it works, but I'll show you the basics again here. To pump on a mini ramp, you want to bend your knees when you're on the flat ground at the bottom of the ramp, and then stand up straight as you enter the uphill part. Then when you've reached your highest point, bend your knees again and roll back down, standing up straight as you reach the bottom. Make sure to practice pumping on your kick turns as well. At this point, you're almost ready to learn how to drop in, but first I want to teach you how to get out of a mini ramp in case you find yourself speeding toward one side without enough room to turn around. The easiest way is to take your back foot off as you slow down and approach the top of the quarter pipe, setting it on the inside of the ramp, and using your front foot to guide the board up into your hand. Then using your back foot, push off to get your body safely up over the coping. If you have enough speed, you can skip putting your back foot down and just land straight on your front foot on the deck of the quarter pipe. If you're going really fast, you can consider riding the board all the way up onto the deck with either of these strategies. If you're riding fakie, this maneuver should do the trick for you. Now that you have all the prerequisites out of the way, it's time to drop in. I highly recommend putting on a helmet and pads until you drop in successfully a few times. 
You can start by practicing the motion on the flat ramps so you can get used to leaning forward enough, making sure you're immediately stomping your front wheels onto the ground. Find the smallest quarter pipe you can, and with your front foot on the deck, put your back foot on the tail of the board and set the back wheels over the coat. In one smooth motion, without hesitating, place your front foot on top of your front wheels and lean forward, focusing on getting your front wheels to touch down on the ramp. One of the biggest issues people have with dropping in is getting up to the top of the quarter pipe and staring down at the bottom of the ramp for too long, psyching themselves out and ultimately resulting in them giving up on dropping in. So once you decide that you're going to do it, you have to get up there, get in position, and just go for it. The other issue people have is that when they actually do try to drop in, they get scared as they start to accelerate and try to slow themselves down by leaning back. But once you start dropping in, that's actually the worst thing you can do. If you don't lean forward enough, your board is going to do a wheelie and then shoot out from underneath you putting you in the dangerous position of falling backwards and hitting either your back or your head on the coping. The bottom line here is that once you commit to dropping in, you have to tell yourself to lean forward a lot. It's not a gradual motion at all. You really have to stomp your front foot down to get your board rolling down the quarter pipe safely. Once you master these techniques, you can put them together into a run and start working on more advanced tricks. Be sure to leave any questions you might have in the comments. Like and subscribe for more skate tutorial videos, and as always, remember to have fun.